Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. So as we spoke in the last video, in our uh, GitHub packages video, today I'm going to use the same project which we created for the last time for the package. And we are going to now see what is GitHub Actions. So actions, actions, actions. Where are your actions? Okay. So whenever you created a let this is the project which we created in the last video, right? So when I open it, I'm going to see something called actions. So what is actions? Actions are nothing but whenever you want to create a deployment or when you want to trigger some things, some build, depending on whenever you want to push the code, what it does is it will automatically when uh, you, con you can configure it automatically. So whenever you push, the deployment should happen. So the packages will get created. Okay, so what we'll do is, uh, this is the project that we worked last time, right? So what I'll do is, uh, I'll push the code first. Data. Okay. So this is the package that we created, the jar file package, which we did to commit and push. Push the code. So make sure that you have added the distribution management here. This is really important because uh, this is what it needs because uh, depending on the URL that we are going to provide here, it is going to create or deploy using this one. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go to actions under the project. I'll refresh it so I know when I push the code. Yeah, 28 seconds ago. So I'll go to actions. Okay. Under actions, uh, you can choose many things. There's something called Maven, Java with Maven. So something called publish Java package with Maven. So, uh, uh, so I, what I'll do is I'll do Java package with Maven. So since we want to create a package, right? So I'm going to do that. I click on setup workflow. Okay. So here, if you see, uh, I'll just leave most of the thing as it is, but only one thing which I want to focus on is this one. So if you can see, uh, the name is there on. So this whole actions of code, whichever is given here, right? It will all get triggered when you run specific commands. Uh, by default, it is telling when I do release. So whenever I create, whenever I write Maven release, this is going to get run. So now uh, what I'll do is I'll do just for just to show you guys what I'll do is I'll just write, uh, I'll just make sure that whenever I push the code, the deployment should happen. So when I click enter, it automatically gives me a list of all the things. So you can select whatever you want. So what I'll do is I'll use push I'll create branch because I'm, I'm I want to deploy that is in the master branch, right? Okay. Done. So I'll just click on commit, commit new file. So it will be created under a dot GitHub folder there, guys. Okay. If you come here, right under dot GitHub folder, it will be created. So since everything is now then I'll pull the code so that my uh, project is updated so I should see dot github uh, yeah I can see the folder the pull has been work so I can see all the things here okay so um, we have to make sure that we still have the settings.xml with our data so I'll, I'm going to delete because you're not no more using it so this is our thing which we want to download and we have our credentials here. Okay. Done. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to close the settings.xml. Everything is there. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'll click on edit configurations. In verify. I'm just going to run and see what is going to happen. Okay is going to work anyways okay we gave here when it, when we push the code the deployment will happen right okay so what I'll do here is I'll create one more method mm, this is just for uh, reference that's all uh, this is that should not necessarily be something like this public void some function is out okay is going to print something uh, why I did this is because I just want to show you guys uh, I'll also change the version number here so 
snapshot one one dot one because we used one dot zero for uh, the GitHub uh, package example, right? So I'm going to make it to one dot one here. So why I did this is because um, and since we have given in the Maven publish file that uh, whenever I, I pushed a code, this Mac Maven package should happen. So now what what I'll do is since I've done something, I made some changes, right? So uh, I'll I'll refresh Maven because I changed the version number. Then once this is done, I'm going to commit and push the code. Added some data. You have to give a specific message, so practice that, guys. This is just for an example. I'm going to commit and push. No errors to warning prone. It's okay. Commit and push. Again, push. Two files has been committed. It is get. It is pushing. Okay pushed so i'll come back to my project i click on actions okay see uh -huh. some added some data this was the one we just did it right so i'll go click on it i can see the build here on the left side see it is setting up everything this is going to build it here so last time when you saw uh, in my uh, project here under packages you saw my example package with 1.0 snapshot right now I the expected thing is it should give me 1.1 .1 snapshot. Okay. Now I see all the things has been done and the build is successful. I'll just refresh my packages here. My I can see 1.1 .1 is added here. So when I go here, I can also see 1.1. .1. So what why why are we doing this is because uh, in your project you don't have to necessarily always come and uh, create packages in like this and do it. So if you if you have configured certain things here and uh, this is like something useful when you're using CI CD pipelines or Jenkins or something like that. So it's automatically done. So that is the reason uh, whenever I created um, the file, whenever I created the file here, this github.maven publish.yml, I can see there was there you can see there was only release um, command there. So when I do MVN release, this was going to get triggered. But since for, just for your sh just to show you guys, I used push command because we wanted to push the code and check, right? So now for this project, whenever I'm going to do a push command, the package is going to get created. And make sure, guys, whenever you're going to get uh, whenever you're creating a package, make sure the versions are different because uh, there's no use, right? Because when you make some changes and you want to upload update it or something when you want to uh, add some extra features or solve some bugs in that and when you want to push the code you always want to change the version number you can also change remove this snapshot you can also remove this snapshot here and you can only directly give why there is may one release okay why there is okay let us also try that let me go to terminal I will write MVN release. Okay, I think I, I would need Maven release plugins and everything. Let me just try whether it is going to work or not. Build failure. Valid life cycle. I think I forgot. Let me try to run the deploy command and see whether release is going to work or not. Before that, life cycle phases. Let's see when the release is going to get triggered. Deploy should work, I guess. Yeah, it is downloading and uploading everywhere. Okay. Let me come here and refresh this actions. Okay. No. 
okay so guys uh, i what i'll do i'll cover this in the next video or maybe um, sometime later so this is nothing has nothing to do with uh, to this tutorial actually uh, it's just that whenever you want to uh, whenever you give your uh, specific command maven command this particular code is going to get triggered okay so why release is because in release uh, the snapshot is not going to come it is just going to ask you what version you have to release it will it is it is going to take 1.01 1 .01. if you want if you are releasing this particular file it will take 1.1 .1 as the release it will not add this hyphen snapshot so after it releases it will make yours as 1.2 1 .1 whatever you give right it will make that as 1.2 let me also show i forgot it maven release plugin maven i'll copy this release plugin i'll put it in my build refresh it it is mbn release code and prepare let me try this okay scan the projects So before release, right, it is going to validate most of the things missing, required, SEM connection and everything. Okay. All these guys, you need to uh, put it in your form file. So let me see if I have it in any of the older versions. Where is my old project? Or it old project? Okay, let's just let it go back to my GitHub project. So uh, this is how we learn, guys, because uh, certain things you only encounter when you are uh, working on it. So let's see. Am I have it? I'll copy it. I will put it just under the distribution management or anywhere so i need to change the names right so i'll copy and paste it copy and paste it copy and paste it paste paste it so i've changed that uh, urls and everything so developer information is also needed because that is what it asks a developer connection must be specified Right. So here I'm going to copy the same thing again. Change the package name. Okay. Let me refresh my name and project, and I'll run it again. I would need this also. Yes. Okay. okay. That is refreshed. I'll run the same name and release prepare again. Hopefully it should work. Okay, form cannot prepare release because okay. I think I should push this again. Update it, commit and push. Uh, because this is release wise we have to be very careful because uh, whenever you do a release it means that you are releasing uh, it's not a it's not just a build version it's not just a demo version you're releasing it to somebody else or maybe releasing it to a uh, internet or somewhere it is pushed let me again try to run so that is why it is more cautious because it needs to know what are you trying to release and what are you trying to push and everything okay see this is what i asked what is the release version of github pack example package 1.1 right i'm i'm just going to click on enter because here it will not now release the packages as snapshot it will now going to release at the release package i'm just going to click on enter what sem tag or label that we have to give 
okay mm, let me go back to github there was something tag i, th I think repository so github types is created okay i'm just going to click enter again what is the new develop see i as i told you right it is now changed to 1.2 so once you release the next version we are working on is 1.2 snapshot right so some i'll click enter executing goals clean verify it is, it is doing all these things so whenever you do a release it actually checks whether everything is valid all the dependencies are there whether your project is working and everything only then it is going to work so it is still working 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 it will take some time yeah build is now successful so i will just go back to refresh the file and go back to actions again hopefully it should be there see i can say as i said you right when i did a maven release it automatically took the package names for it for us see maven release commit again prepare for release for next development that is also there and this is also there and this is this is successful let us wait for this one to get completed why this one run ran right guys okay let me tell you this one ran as a different com okay the maven release also committed itself and when we committed we also did one more time here okay always releases do two commits actually i'll show you when you do a maven command it uh, maven release right see we did not commit these two as a as you, as you saw in the video this was the last commit that i did but maven automatically did two more commits for us that is why specifying the usernames specifying the uh, the scm details is mandatory here go back to actions okay if it is completed now what i'll do is i'll go back to my project my profile under the packages 1.2 okay 1.2 is there here because that was the next one right that we wanted to work on see it got changed to 1.2 and it pushed the code i did not change it anytime it asked me when i did a maven release and it and i got it see 1.1 is already here you can see right recent versions why there is 1.2 because uh, maven also pushed a developmental uh, project right because we released 1.2 and this is snapshot is still in development phase that is why it is called snapshot there so 1.1 is again a release version you can see it is just 1.1 now okay so i've covered these things guys thank you for watching if you have any questions please give me a comment I'll just reply you guys whenever I have time and thank you for watching the video if you like my video please like subscribe guys thank you